forecast. Well, we've been tracking some rain during the overnight hours. It's generally been fairly light, but still a kind of a soggy start to the day. Improving weather conditions, though, are in the forecast as we go through your Saturday. Live Doppler 2 HD is still tracking some rain around Piqua and Troy over towards Arcanum and Greenville over towards Bell Fountain here. And as we expand the picture, you can see that uh, back edge of the rain isn't too far away. It's almost to the Ohio Indiana border. And a lot of this is fairly light if it's even reaching the ground. A lot of clouds out there this morning, but the bulk of the heavier rain has already shifted off towards the east. And uh, generally this afternoon will continue with a drying trend. That's due to the passage of a cool front that will track through the Ohio Valley here this morning. Behind the front, we'll actually start to see skies start to clear up come late this afternoon into this evening when we should see some sunshine. But a lot of the morning hours do expect to see a lot of clouds around and maybe a little bit of drizzle that'll linger around. Right now it's a little bit cooler to the north, 45 degrees in Wampaconetta as well as in Bell Fountain, 51 in outlying areas in Springfield, Xenia, Wilmington, Eaton, Greenville, as well as in Oxford. Downtown Dayton, we're still seeing those low clouds and starting to see some daylight out here. Uh, the roadway is still wet, 53 degrees, west-southwest winds at 11 miles an hour, barometers at 29.96 inches. As you're heading out this morning for that early morning exercise, or maybe you're planting eggs for an egg hunt today, definitely going to be damp early this morning. I think a lot of the rain is going to be over with by the 9 o'clock hour. By 11 o'clock, we should start to see some uh, breaks in those clouds and temperatures around 48 degrees. Tonight, those skies continue to clear out as high pressure builds into the area. That's going to allow temperatures to really cool off quickly this evening. And because of that, there is a freeze warning for much of the Miami Valley overnight tonight. So if you do have those plants outside, maybe you've already bought some pansies uh, or some other outdoor plants, probably need to cover them up during the overnight hours because of that likelihood of frost. Outlying areas dropping into the upper 20s during the overnight hours north of I-70, south of I-70. Again, outlying areas will be a little bit cooler in the city, though, about the freezing mark for the overnight low 29 in Xenia, 31 degrees in Wilmington. Then for your Easter Sunday, we are going to wake up to areas of frost in the morning, but we're going to see plenty of sunshine. It'll be a cool Easter Sunday, but at least it will be dry. Temperatures rising into to the low 50s for later on in the afternoon. By 11 o'clock this morning, we'll start to see more breaks in those clouds here this morning, and then this afternoon, we'll start to see a little bit of sunshine across the Miami Valley as high pressure builds into the area. Tonight, though, cooling off quickly with that area of high pressure in control once we lose that daylight, uh, the daylight hours. Then tomorrow, we'll see sunshine, and then by tomorrow night, we'll see those clouds start to increase with the next storm system coming in late Sunday night into Monday. Today, 56 degrees, breezy and cool with decreasing clouds and that rain comes to an end. Tonight, though, uh, areas of frost down to 32 and for your Easter Sunday, a high of 52 degrees. Looks like we'll see bright skies after that frosty start. In your extended Storm Team 2 forecast here, chance of rain and snow showers into Monday, high of 52 degrees. A nice warming trend for the week ahead as we reach into the 70s by Friday. 